OnSong lets you import all of your music into a lightweight, portable device that's always organized. You can access all of your songs in the Songs menu. Let's take a look. Let's tap on Songs. Here you can see a list of all 152 songs I have. And of course, you can scroll through them and pick different songs to view. On the bottom left, we have a sort menu. We can tap that to see different ways to sort our list. For instance, right now I'm sorting by title in ascending order. If I tap on title again, it will sort my list in descending order. If I tap on added, I can see the last songs that were added and you can see the date appears beneath the song. In the upper left corner, we see an icon and tapping that will reveal what we call the drawer where we can browse our songs. Tapping on all songs will show us the list we were just looking at. Underneath all songs, we have collections. For instance, unbound songs are any song that is not currently in a book. And below that, we can see that we can browse by book. Here we have a list of books that I've created. I've created one book per album of each artist that I've imported. For instance, if I tap on All My Heart, I can see all of Renee's songs here. If I tap the drawer icon again, I can choose a different book or go out to my main drawer. I can create a book by tapping on the plus button in the lower right corner and then giving it a name. Let's make a book for all my Christmas songs. Now when I pick the book, you'll see there's no songs in it. To add some songs to my book, I can tap on the icon in the lower right corner to import songs. From here, any songs that I import will automatically be added to that book. But I can also add songs that I currently have in my library by choosing existing songs. Now I can go through and pick any of the Christmas songs that I would like to add. There, I've just created a book with two songs in it. Books are a great way to organize your collection of music. They're designed to allow you to browse for certain categories of songs. You can use them for holidays, for different bands you're in, or genres, maybe even different eras for music, like the 1950s or 60s. Let's take a look at another way to organize your music called sets. If I open my songs menu, I can then go out to my main drawer and browse sets. Sets are the songs that you plan to play for a specific event. For instance, you might play this Friday night. So we'll create a new set. Let's tap on plus. And now I can choose a date when I'm gonna play out on Friday the 13th. What a night. That's all I have to do and tap done. OnSong automatically creates my set, and of course, there's no songs in it. We can add songs to the set by tapping the plus button in the lower right corner. As you can see, I can browse my songs in different ways, including by all the books that I've created. Or I could tap all songs. Now all I have to do is tap on songs I would like to add to my set. The order that I place check marks will automatically be the order the songs are placed into my set. If I want to change that, I can just tap and drag the song to a different place. Alternately, I could tap the edit button in the upper right corner and use the reordering handles. There. Now the songs are in order in my song viewer. So if I swipe through them or use a foot pedal, they'll be in the right order for my set. I can also tap in the lower left corner to find the sort options. Now sets are designed to be viewed in chronological order, but I can still order them by title or a number of other ways as well. But the custom order is whatever order I place those songs in my set. Another thing I can add to my set are called moments. If I tap on this button, I can then choose to add a break. Choose a color and tap done. Moments let you add things that aren't songs 
into your event as well, so you'll know when to do certain things or make certain announcements. You can tap on them and edit them just like a regular song, adding in various notes. Let's take a look. For instance, here I have a break. Maybe I want to add some more details here. So I'm gonna tap on my attachments icon and tap edit chords and lyrics. Here I can type various notes. Various notes to say. And that will give me some idea of what's happening when I get to that section of my set. The songs menu also has ways to look at your songs by attribute. Let's take a look at different ways that we can browse our songs. I'm gonna tap on my songs menu and go back to view the drawer. If I scroll to the bottom, I can see I can view my songs alphabetically, by artist, by file type, by their key, maybe the provider that I got the song from, like song select or praise charts. I can browse by tempo and also by topic. If I tap on alphabetic, I can see a breakdown of all my songs and what letter they start with. If I want to see all the songs that start with C, I can tap on C. I can go back and browse my songs by artist. If I want to see all the songs by Kara Kaler, no problem. By file type, by key. And tempo is neat because I can also browse by how fast the song is. Topics are a great way to organize your music without explicitly putting songs in books. For instance, we can create a topic, and out of the gate, OnSong will search my lyrics for that word. You can also refine those searches by typing in keywords for each song as a tag. Let's take a look at topics. Here I have my topics list, and I have none, but I'm gonna tap on the plus button and type a word as we know, a lot of songs are about this topic. Let's tap Done. Now when I tap on Love, I can see all the songs that have the word love in the lyrics. Maybe I want to get a little more specific, and I might type the word Dance. And we only have 17 songs. Let's add a keyword to a song to see how that affects the song. I'm gonna go back to my all songs, find a random song in here, like the welcome song, and we're going to edit the content by going into our attachments menu, hit edit chords and lyrics. Then I'm gonna tap on the I icon in the menu bar and come to my keywords and type the word swing. When I tap off of that menu, you can see that a keywords tag was added with the word swing. And I'm gonna tap done. Let's go back to our topic and see what happened. There. Welcome to OnSong has been added to our swing topic because we set a keyword of swing. OnSong will automatically use the keywords instead of searching the lyrics if keywords are present and will only use lyrics if no keywords are present. So you can choose how specific you want topics to work. One last thing I'd like to show is because there's so many different ways to browse your music. How do I add songs to a set? Well, let me show you. Maybe I want to add songs by specific artists to my current set. I can come in here and browse music by Jason Squires. Tap on the select button. And now I can select multiple songs using multi-select. Down at the bottom toolbar, you can see I have various options. I can mark my songs with different icons or I can perform various actions. In the middle, I can tap the add to button and add that to my current set like this. Now when I go back to my drawer, and view my active sets, I can see that I've just added additional songs by Jason Squires to the end of my set. 
Sets are a great way to get organized for events where you play music. But after a few gigs, you might start to have a lot of sets in your song list. We can manually archive sets and put them into our archive sets collection. Let's take a look. I'm going to go back to my active sets here. And you can see I have one in here from March 31st, 2019. I want to move that to my archive sets folder. So I'm going to tap and hold to open up a context menu with a lot of different actions. Instead of deleting the set, I want to archive it. That way I can look at it later for what I did. Let me tap archive set. There, it takes it out of my active sets list and cleans things up a bit. Now when I tap back and tap on archive sets, I can see it there. Now because you can play a lot of different gigs with a lot of different bands or a lot of different types of events, we've also created folders. Let's take a look. Here we have a folders section under sets. Folders are ways to organize sets in different ways. So I can view all my sets here or I can create a new folder. Let me hit the plus button. And maybe I play at a coffee house on Friday nights. There, I created a folder. And now I can add sets to that. At the bottom of our browse menu, you might have noticed a Manage Libraries button. Libraries let you manage songs, sets, and a whole bunch of settings, all separate from one another. This could be handy if you have multiple users using one iPad and you don't want to mix any of the music or any of the settings between them. Let's take a look at how we can manage multiple libraries. Tap on the Manage Libraries button, and here we can see that OnSong has created a default library. Now OnSong will always start with a library, and you can see a couple details about when it was created or how big it, the library is. I can create another library by tapping on the plus button and then typing a name. Now, when I tap on new, OnSong will automatically switch to a brand new library with brand new settings and only one song, the Welcome to OnSong song. To switch back, let's go to our drawer, tap Manage Libraries, and then tap on Default. Now OnSong restores all the songs that were in my other library. Another neat feature with this is if you have a backup, you can restore that backup into a separate library, giving you access to the contents of the backup, as well as the songs that were currently on your iPad. This is great if, let's say, a friend of yours loses their iPad but needs to get on with the gig. They can restore their backup in a separate library and then play without affecting your music. So I hope that gives you some idea of how you can use the new songs menu in OnSong. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to us.